Corporation. First at 10, a controversial resignation from UCF. Good evening, I'm Brett Conley. And I'm Angela Taylor. Dr. Robert Chandler served as the director of the University School of Communication. And now he's out amid allegations he was milking the school for travel expenses. He ironically wrote a textbook on ethics. West 2's Chris Hush is live on campus. And Chris, this involves thousands of dollars. Yeah, and we have our hands on some documents from the university that they say proves some of that, including emails from the dean uh, and Dr. Chandler discussing these serious allegations. We also received a spreadsheet that claims Dr. Chandler owes thousands of dollars in travel expenses. University documents obtained by West 2 show the director of the Nicholson School of Communication was reimbursed by both UCF and a third party for university travel expenses. UCF prohibits reimbursement from other sources if the university is already reimbursing its employee. But a nearly six month UCF led investigation alleges Dr. Robert Chandler double dipped, getting thousands of dollars from third parties and the university. We work very hard with all of our employees so that they understand the limits of what's acceptable. And this alleged behavior clearly was not. And you have people who are, we are supposed to trust as faculty and staff, you know, coming in and using our money. Dr. Chandler sent a 10 page letter to College of Sciences Dean Dr. Michael Johnson denying the allegations. Instead, he says he was behind in accounting for these subsequent payments, blaming poor record keeping practices and work obligations. In a letter to Dr. Chandler, the dean says Chandler did pay $30,000 to the university for the overpayments and double payments he received. But he adds, with roughly 40 counts of double dipping, it's impossible to accept an explanation of sloppiness on your part. Of course, it was an investigation, even if it's just an accusation. But yeah, they'll get to the bottom of it. And this right here is the official resignation letter that Dr. Chandler is said to have handed in. It says that it's effective come May 1st. Uh, we should also add that Dr. Chandler is also accused of uh, misusing university resources and hiring family members. That is against university policy. We did try to reach out to Dr. Chandler, including uh, standing right outside the building that he works at here on campus, but we were unsuccessful with getting his side of the story. We, of course, will continue to try to get in touch with him. For now, we're live in Orange County. Chris Hush, West 2 News on CW18.